everybody, this is Dallas Stone here doing a quick tutorial video. Um, so, let's see here. So, as you guys can see, Third Polly asked me if I can do a quick tutorial on how to output a color map in Maya. Says that all the tutorials he's seen so far has been high to low poly res objects, um, where he just wants to create a texture for a low res object to start with, it's just something to start with. So, this is relatively easy. So I decide that I have some time to quickly whip this out. So this is uh, a door that I've that I've, that I've made. It's not the greatest door, but it would be good for this example. Um, so what you need to do is whatever it is that you're modeling, right? And this is just an example, okay? I'm just gonna quickly do some things to it to make sure to show you that this works. So I'm just gonna select some some materials here on this and just kind of show you how this all works out. Alright. So let's put some red in here. Just to kind of you know, kind of just quickly show you. Okay, so what you need to do is first off this object or whatever it is that you want to export out inside your color map it needs to have uh, so this is the UV texture editor it needs to be in the 0 to 1 space okay so I'm just gonna quickly do an auto an auto map okay just gonna auto map this there it is and I'm just gonna show you that it's all in the 0 to 1 all into 0 to 1 okay so there we go all into the 0 to 1 and now I'm just gonna duplicate it okay so now it's 1 no big deal. Um, now, one thing that's tripping me out is it's as if uh, this one didn't completely duplicate. Oh, it's probably because it's that's really weird. Okay, there we go. So now it's duplicated. I don't know why that didn't duplicate before. Okay, so um, from here you go to, so you gotta have your your UVs uh, zero to one. Go to your rendering. Go to lighting slash shading. Go to transfer maps. Right. So I'm just gonna clear all this first. So in your target mesh, it, this this doesn't really matter. So just select one of them, and in your source mesh, select the other, the one that isn't selected. Make sure you have that fuse selected. Uh, name your the map. I, I I like to use targas, okay, and everything else I kind of keep the same. Now here you want to select you know your 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 map, your size of your texture. So I I chose 1024 here. Um, kept the aspect ratio, world space. I put this on preview because th I want this to be quick. I don't want to spend too it to spend too much time um, creating a render. Uh, filter size and all that stuff, right? So this is kind of I kind of keep this all by default. You can tinker with it if you want. Uh, to make it sharper, closest to the envelope, this should all be fine. So I'm just going to click bake here, and it should start baking, and it should be done. Okay. And what you're going to notice is that it should you should see a little bit of a blur because of all the filters and stuff that are on here, um, right? And the beautiful thing is now I have this put on my desktop. So on my desktop, I have this color map now that I've that I've made. So I'm just going to open this up, and there it is. There is the color map. All right, so this is a nice, easy get something to to start with inside your Maya. Obviously, if you actually lay out your UVs properly, it, it would it would be even better. Um, but yeah, this is it's uh, hopefully that helps you out. And um, thank you so much for throwing out that comment. And like I said, because it was such an easy and quick um, kind of thing for me to show, uh, I was able to do this tutorial for you. Thank you so much and thank you for the support.